probation. Yeah, I'm still on probation. Actually, I just got um, I just got a better way to work things out with my PO. You know, the lawyer come <laughs> smack the PO around. You know what I'm saying? The right. lawyer smacking the PO around right now, so I'm able to do what I want. But yeah, I I had a whole tour supposed to go by myself, and I couldn't do it because of my probation officer. So it's just like that. It was weighing me down because it was like I was trying to change my life for the better to be a rapper and start a career for myself. You know, I didn't never go to school or nothing. Who am I gonna be? You mm -hmm. know. So like this is like the best thing that happened to me. I'm like, you not letting me be a rapper. So you want me to be back in the streets? What? You want me mm -hmm. to go kick a door down and what? What you want me to do? You feel me? Like, yeah. so I just started going against their ass and started getting violated because <laughs> I was not gonna let them keep. Me trapped in Oakland, California. What the fuck? But what were you on probation for? Robbery. Robbery. Yeah. Can you talk about that situation? Um, not really. No. No, not really. I got, I got, I got two strikes. Really? All, all my, all my, all my, all my cases are all robberies. Really? So you have two felony strikes. Yeah. So one more and. Um. Well, I guess it's a new law in California that if you get three strikes, that that you you are fighting life, but. It has to be the same charges, like you know, like if I was to murder somebody, then yeah, I fight life. If I was to do something like that, like I mean, how much does that weigh on you, knowing that if I get another strike, my life is going really, really be messed up. It weighs in a lot, and it, it it's actually uh, a reason why I'm more like growing up and being more mature about myself and being like positive with my life now instead of just like thinking of how I'm gonna eat for that hour you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. instead of lifetime I'm like achieving lifetime goals right now mm -hmm. instead of trying to do some other shit that have me in jail for the rest of my life Lil Wayne had just put out a interview or statement saying like he didn't like New York. I just don't and, like New York. And you know, I mean, it's his opinion to say. I, you know, ever since I met Stevie, when he pissed me off, fucking bitch ass, faggot ass nigga. But that's how we talk in Miami, and I'm trying to work on that because I actually, my brother's gay.